Hi, welcome back. Welcome back, guys, to another Vicky Slikes video. Sergio, and Sergio Slikes. Yes. I like her. I like her. <laughs> I like her. I like him. <laughs> I love him. <laughs> anyway, we're in Apopka, Florida this weekend. Yes. And this area is full of events. It sure okay? is. And this is one of them. This is Apopka International Orchid Festival um, or show on sale. Yes. And they have vendors here that do not go south to uh, Tamiami yes. or the, the rare plants. So we are really looking forward to see their plants as always and uh, meet these vendors. So come with us. Yes, let's visit Crow Smith today. Again. Yes. <laughs> Good. First things first, right? Your novelty files. And the pollinator. <laughs> oh, this is beautiful. They have different um, areas of uh, plants here, but this is where we walked into is the new area. And guys, if you don't know, uh, this is the new showroom. Uh, it's been a year already since they opened up this new area and it's beautiful. And we have several videos out of here. Uh, the latest one was the event that they added, the uh, yearly event that they added for the 4th of July weekend. And this is their own hybrid, the classic Heaven's Gate. I love that one. And we don't have it. I think uh, perhaps today is going to be the day. <laughs> it's so beautiful. I love the color. We picked out a plant and we have it secured, but we asked one of the guys here if they had a, a better one. This is not a bad plant, you know, nice roots, but if we can get something better, right? Always try. You can't lose by asking. Check this, this is out. Beautiful. Isn't this beautiful? Yes. Let's see if I can find a tag. I don't see a tag, uh, is so it this I one? wonder, I am not sure, it could possibly be because all of these have the same name, so there you have it. Maybe. Process of elimination. <laughs> and this is, this is the Vanda area. Yes. Oh, I gotta smell this. Yeah. So delicious. <laughs> Oops, I hit the How plant. Was it? <laughs> Very nice. Tessaladas. Tessaladas divide divine. like uh, the Nissoniano. It's beautiful. Yep. Look at this one, so interesting. Neoflacata is here. 
Remember we got the white one from, yeah. from them? We had a viewer, remember the viewer we met at um, the Jacksonville, uh, not the Jacksonville, the Gainesville uh, orchid show and sale a couple of weeks ago. And she said, I have a, a neofocata and I don't get it to bloom. And I said, ours did. Oh, I'm jealous. <laughs> well, there you have it. Look at this back here. I know, I was actually looking at one back that way. Too. Okay, first, first things first. It's beautiful. already? Um, it's opening up. Is it? So those little speckles are normal? No. What is it? Oh, it's a heaven's gate. Oh, okay. <laughs> she wants me to show something there, but I'm still here. <laughs> She's always ahead of me. <laughs> My Kiki Gold Leah Chalk Cross with Chocolate Drop. And this is Saturday. Uh, we were told that Friday, yesterday, Friday, uh, many plants, many flowers were gone. Um, but they did a good job at restocking. You have your paths here. Look at this one trying to open up. Yeah. Naomi's delight. Check this out, guys. Check this out. This is what we are talking about always about customer service in this place. Whoa, man. Wow. Yeah. So I guess this is all from the hurricane, you guys. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm sure. Yeah. Piece of wire or something fell on top of it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Had some lighting fall on top of some benches in there. Really is that and right? Things. Yeah, some string lights and oh. a few poles and stuff. Oh. So I'm sure. Yeah. Wow. But it's got two beautiful new growths down at the bottom of it. Yeah. Two flowers next time. Yeah. These bloom a couple of times a year. Yes. Yeah, because yes. it seems like whenever. We see you Whenever on the road. We come, or, they're always in <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. And we like to time them so that they're ready for you guys yeah. when you come for our big shows. <laughs> nice. All right. You don't mind being in our video? Absolutely. Yeah. And what's your name Dakota. for? Dakota. Dakota, Sergio, and Vicky. We have the YouTube channel. I'm sure you've seen, them, yes. seen us plenty of times. Yeah. Thanks for coming in. Yeah. <laughs> Thank All you. All right. Thanks so much. Yeah. Yep, pull those out for you guys, so take your pick. These are beautiful. Look at this one. And then this one. Oh, this one's going to be this color. Oh, I have to take a whiff. Do they all smell the same? I wonder. Let's show a tag. Oh, okay. So the white one is Alba, Gigantia Alba. Alba because? It's white. There you go. Ding! <laughs> Man, and look at look at the spikes. Right? Right? Yes. 
I love them all. I love this one. Well, we have three of them, so hopefully soon yes. we will have flowers. I think the pink one is called Sweet Pink. Hence. <laughs> Here it Look is. Look at it back there. Yeah. I don't think I could see. No, I can't pick it up to take a whiff because it's um, tied down. And then the one that's speckled here is <laughs> Gigantia Cartoon. <laughs> that's funny. Like Looney Tunes? Right? <laughs> Look at that. I was going to say um, Australian, Australian, fern. Australian fern. Ours is will eventually growing. get like that. Right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, if you haven't watched our videos uh, from uh, of uh, our greenhouse yes. space on both sides of our, of our house, uh, the latest one is how we winterizing or how we winterize the, the growing space area. Yes. Uh, here in central Florida, the temperature uh, plummets, it goes down into sometimes the 20s. Yes. And you already bought another heater. Correct, correct. Yes. So I cover all of that in that video. Yes. That's Beauty. a cutie pie. This one is called... Very nice. Let's see, oh, this is beautiful. Monkey butt. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna smell like a monkey butt. That's what you call me sometimes, right? <laughs> Just kidding. No, I actually call him Piggy. Nope, it doesn't smell like monkey butt. <laughs> <laughs> No flowers here, but you can look at the pictures. Yeah. This is beautiful. Elegante. Elegante. For non-Spanish speakers, uh, elegante in Spanish is elegant. This is once or twice a week. I now good hang up like the end of the because I'm very So I have the earring. Oh, and that smells beautiful. You know, this one is the aristocrat. They, they want to be fed. You like this they one. I do. On. And, you know, and they want to be taken care of. So, Back when I was a kid, yeah. there was like so, um, you know, little cartoons with the cats, the aristocrat cats, the aristocrat. Yeah. This is beautiful. Wow. Sorry. <laughs> God, I love this smell. I love this smell. It is such a pretty smell. You want to smell it? You're going to catch me in the video? Oops! <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes. It's like strong at first. And yes. Then, yeah. It's beautiful. Mm. It is beautiful. Yeah. Look at this. Man. That is just out of control. Out of control. Oh, guess what? We have it? No. Oh. <laughs> I'm just saying, guess what? It's like, why not? Guess what? If we get a why not... Why not getting this one? Or if we get the why not, guess what? We got another one. 
anyway. <laughs> yeah. These Catleas are so beautiful. You know, I think I'm also a Catlea chick too. I'm a foul gal, 100%. And I remember that sea from Sierra, Sierra Madre has a fowl that has a pretty scent. We're gonna get it one of these days. But I think I also have an inclination to Catleas, do you think? I mean, all of them. That's okay too. That's okay. <laughs> I just love all the colors. I love them. Oh my God. What is this? And where is that one at? Could it be this? It has to be. Yes. Yes? Yes. Because it says pink passion. Yeah. Oh my it is. God. Yeah. Oh, that is just beautiful. Can you imagine a uh, corsage with... Uh, oh my God these flowers yes I can't take a whiff because they're tied down but oh I wish I could smell it <laughs> maybe if you go I need to come with a step stool <laughs> <laughs> oh my god I love it oh I love this smell Oh, I love that one. Huh? That, or is it a different type? I don't no. know, but it's beautiful. It is. Does it smell? No. 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 Do I have pollen on my nose? <laughs> <laughs> you. That's beautiful. It is. And look at all, all the bubble films down below. Stinky roll. <laughs> this is stinky roll. How do you know? You haven't smelled them. Mm, I don't know. Should I? Okay, I dare try. you. I don't smell nothing on that one. Smell this one here. Let me see. No. A little bit. It's not like rotten, but it's a little care, bit. I don't care, but it's a pungent. beautiful. Yeah, it's a beautiful flower. Okay. It is. Ours. I think this is the one we got last year. Is and, it? I uh, think so. I right? don't see a spike yet. What? No. Look These at this look one. like two pan yeah. beaks, right? These trees have grown. Right? Yes, yeah. Wow. I love this. Oh my God, I'm obsessed with that. Oh my god. Gotta see them. Delicious. Beautiful too. I can't take out the tag. It's kind of stuck in there. That's fine. You want to take maybe, a little smell? Maybe we have it. Oh. It's like lemony, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh. And it's uh, you can tell that they're all going dormant now. Oh, yeah. But they still have spikes. Look at this. Yeah. Oh, look at this. Yeah. Oh my God, oh, look at this one. It goes around. Mira, mira. <laughs> that means look, look. You know, I think we saw this in um, City Oasis. And we got it. <laughs> yes.
This is uh, Midas Kiss. Oh. Any ideas? I might uh, Midas Kiss. <laughs> Beauty. This Foul. is down your alley. Foul lane. <laughs> so pretty. The yellows are so pretty. Those are so, so pretty. And how about this one here has... So we covered the uh, showroom. Now we're going to check out the vendors. Yes. Nice area here. It's a nice day, you know. It's uh, Now it's overcast, but it feels good. It yes. feels good being out here. Anyway. Yes, yes, All it right. does. So let's check it out. Oops, <laughs> I bumped up to you. <laughs> Orchid arrows from the big island of Hawaii. And you have their website right down here. I wonder if Janae goes there. Yes. Oh, South Africa is uh, it's kind of big. So. I know. Yeah. Janae, let us know. Yes. Do you know them? If you're in Germany, here you have information for 2026. Nice. Wow. Way in advance, huh? Very, very way in advance. <laughs> this place is like wiped out. I know. Look at that. That one's beautiful. Right? Yeah. I see you have stuff. You bought your Heaven's Gate. Yes, you know, um, I just joined the orchid. Oh, you did? Nice. Oh, okay, nice. The one plant that they had was a mix of um, that white one and there's another one. This one? Someone can hybrid it. Yes. And I'm curious about it. I can't wait to see the, the We result. have this one. I call it hanky, handkerchief. I call oh, it. That's the yes, thing I, I gave it. It's beautiful. Yes. When it blooms, oh. This? It looks better in person. Yeah, really good. Oh, look at that picture. What I love the oh, it. It's beautiful. No, no. They went up. Oh, we went up. Then they went up. What did I come here? 
Oh, wow. Interesting. It's like a face inside, right? I know. <laughs> He's looking at you, kid. <laughs> I said, and then we can. Here are our friends, Miranda Orchids, and Francisco is here today for a change, and his beautiful wife, Christina. Very nice display, oh, the yeah. pictures, and we have something here that Emmanuel made us buy, right? <laughs> it's your fault, Emmanuel, okay? <laughs> it's your fault. You made us do it. It's beautiful. So, we're going to have Francisco talk about it a little bit. So, like I said, this is Emmanuel's fault, okay? You made us buy this orchid. <laughs> okay, this is Lele Anceps. This is a species from Mexico. It comes from fairly high elevation in the mountains of central Mexico. And uh, this is a very unusual color form. Usually they're just magenta color with a darker lip. Always with a yellow marking. This one has kind of a markings on the petals. Very, they vary a little bit from year to year, but always with uh, strong markings and vary from flower to flower. This is a, a species, because it comes from fairly high elevation, uh, it, it's, very resistant to high and low temperatures. Actually, it's one of the species that can be grown in the freezing conditions, short freezing periods. You can actually put it in a, in a tree, and even in central Florida. Unless it's going to go below 30, you don't need to really worry about a couple of nights on this kind of temperature, when the plants are well established. And uh, the species always has these long flower spikes. This one is not very long, actually, but some of the other divisions I had, that they were, the spikes are twice as long. Oh, wow. And... Uh, I mean, it's a very unusual color form. It's very, very nice. And uh, very rewarding because the flowers are long-lasting. And as I said, they withstand the freezing temperatures and also temperatures in excess of 100 degrees easily. Good. So, Good. And how do you grow it? You were saying in a basket is fine? Well, the uh, thing is, leather anstops has a very long rhizome, like some shamburkis. And for that reason, they don't stay inside the pot for too long, regardless of how big the pot is. They <laughs> just want to go. They need to go out of the pot. <laughs> So, you can grow them in baskets, or you can grow them in slabs. I prefer to still grow them in pots, because uh, if they get too much out of the pots, I just cut the piece and make another division and put it in another pot. Because the problem is with baskets, the way they grow, they tend to produce any growth in between the, the slabs of the basket and all the stuff. It's impossible to repot. At least with the pots, you can very easily just remove them from the pot, cut the back parts, and just use the pot that makes to make sense. any division. Yeah, good. Uh, we usually use clay pots because this is a species that like to dry out between waterings. Okay. You just look at the when, when you look at a plant like this, very rough and very heavy substance on the leaves. You know, these are plants that usually uh, are adapted to periods of drought. Might be long periods or short periods, that depends on the year, on the particular location, but that means that this is a plant that don't like to stay soggy all the time. I mean, when the pseudobulb is growing, they can get a lot of water, but as soon as the pseudobulb stops growing, regardless of flower spike, they just cut the water to okay. a bare minimum. I would say in the winter, if the water is like once every two weeks. Okay. So. Oh, wow. Okay, so the plants like bright light, Oh, they like good air circulation, like all orchids like good air circulation, okay? Especially the ones coming from the mountains, they're used to, to good air circulation. So that's it, bright light, good air circulation, humidity when the plant is growing, lots of water when the plant is growing, and lot of less water when the plant is resting. The flowers usually appear after the, after the sheet is dry, which means they're producing the growth, then they rest, and then they flower. Oh. Okay. So don't 
get to the resist the temptation up. of checking the, <laughs> the sheet to see if there is anything coming from here because it's going to come. Okay. It's not going to have cut limited store glasses, all of the jazzes. The flower sheets are dry. And people think, oh, it's not going to flower, and they start poking there, and they damage the eyes, and then the plant doesn't flower, you know, because, because of people us. are not patient enough. You know? so, Be patient. So that's right. it. I mean, there's no big deal. It's a very easy awesome. species to grow. It can grow warmer, it can grow cooler, and just uh, respect to the dry period, the rest period, when the plant uh, is not growing. That's not essential. Yet. Great. Awesome. Thank you so much. You're yeah, welcome. Always nice uh, having you picking your brain and uh no that's fine i mean it, it, this is one of the easy plants to grow because you just forget about it you know forget about it like many of the many of the cactus people kill cactus because they take too much care of them keep watering them all the time and they're afraid of because the plants are too dry you know too dry is fine when the plant is well rooted you have to remember that the plants have to be well rooted to be adapted well to the dry and wet periods because if yeah. the plant is not well rooted first, it's not going to absorb a lot of water. So whatever water is thrown in the plant is just going to feed the bacteria and fungus. Not going to feed the plant. And if the plant is doesn't have good roots and it's too dry, obviously the plant is going to dehydrate to death because it's not going to absorb anything by the roots. So see, the roots are the most important part of the plant. All orchids. A lot of people think, when well, I got to go to the pot, the plant, let's cut all the roots. No, don't do that. <laughs> okay, even if the roots look dry, they still can grow new, new yeah, branches. You see it in there. vendors. You see it. Yeah, exactly. They're dry. They're not dead. People think the roots are dead. No, no, no. They're dry. They're supposed to dry in between waters. That's the way the structure of the orchid, orchid roots are. Okay. They have this velamen, which is this kind of a hollow uh, layer outside the main root, you know, this is uh, humidity control. When it is too wet, they get completely plump. And you can see this in vandas. Most people water the vandas, but they don't water them enough. You have to water the vandas until the roots get green, okay? So it's a few minutes. The moment they get green, they're saturated. Then they can stay a long time without watering again. If you just pass a little bit of water, that's not going to work, you know? The plant needs more water than that. So you need to see the greenness on Correct. the roots. Correct. If the roots are white and you just throw a little bit of water, they continue to be white, that's not enough. The plant is, didn't get enough humidity. Good. Awesome. Of course, in Miami, you have a lot of milk in the air, but when you go to other areas that is not as humid, then right. you really have to make sure that you water the plants properly. And this is the same for all Okay. Everything. Pretty much thing. all orchids. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much again. You're welcome again. I mean, this is... Uh, we have to learn this after 40 years. If you don't learn that, well, I still, I still kill plants. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> but I kill less now than I, than I used to kill when I start. <laughs> Let's put it this way. You're less of an assassin Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You're 50% of Yeah, assassin. exactly. <laughs> All right, so... See a tag somewhere? Yes, right here. <laughs> Look at these bulb of films. <laughs> yes. This is so nice, right? Yes, very pretty. I think so, yeah. Now it is safer. These are beautiful. Yes, they are. <laughs> Label, please. Tag. <laughs> Snowflakes are back. <laughs> this is beautiful here, too. Yeah. Uh, well, I remember, I remember. 
Look at these guys. Yeah. Yeah, I got the and couldn't get out. I've been very to the same the Oh, yeah. You tell me. I have a hard time describing Look at this baby. Yeah. She's like dancing. It's sweet. It's a sweet there's a lady slipper that's rare because it's freight room. That's a I'm sitting in the Jupiter, that's what we call it, as a group. But this lady slipper, I don't have the smell as grandma's cold cream. No! But it's really nice. Yeah, but it's very cold. Very cold. I'm sorry, pardon me. You're fine. Yeah. But it's very cold. Yeah. 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 Quite all right, quite all right. Take your time. <laughs> Well, it's foundations. It's in the it's in the thing. It was Neo Phoenicia Falcata. Now it's Vanda Falcata. It's called the Samurai Village in the morning, but shut the Samurai in the afternoon. And that is a huge clump, and the price yeah. looks to be. Isn't that beautiful? It is. I know the flowers are rotting away. It's soft, like, so pretty, the smell. <laughs> Very nice, right? Yeah. Hola. 75 cents? <laughs> there is Chris from Offy. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, it's usually like a month. This is Office Orchid Supply. And so you guys know, we talked about it. They have this wonderful product from our friends. This is the new size. Sarah and Miguel. And watch our videos, the story of this product. Yes. And how it's made. This wonderful right, family. Bro. Oh, sorry. We're out of here. And I ain't coming back down that hill. They have everything you need for your orchids. Thank you. Thank you. We also have a video out of uh, off the, uh, the home office or the home base in uh, Redland, Florida. And there are more vendors that way. This is Tropiflora, and they are out of Sarasota. Nice ear plants, bromeliads. Yeah. Cactus or cacti. I saw something I like. This one. This is the ant plant, right? Yes. Yeah. What did you like? This, this one and this one. So pretty. How are you? I enjoy um, your watching you guys. Good. We have our friend. Good. Thank you. Over here, hang a pot. How are you? How are good you, you. Raf? Everybody okay? Family okay? Yeah. Good. Again, guys, this is a product that we've been using for years. It's a wonderful product, made to last. 
Yeah. This is something that uh, you can buy like this, right, Raph? Or you can create your own, buy their holders and make it yourself. Mm -hmm. Great idea. Yes. If you have a fence, you can also put them on your fence. And you know what people do? Indoor jungles. On the, oh, on the that's room nice. Divider. Yes. You do all that's the house That's a good idea plants. too. Yeah. Very healthy. Yes. And look, you just zip tie the hanger. Yes. Yes. Easy installation. Good. True. Yeah. Awesome. All right, Raph. Always nice, nice to see, see, you. see you. Take care. Take care. Thank, Thank you. you. Anti Orchid Nursery. Mom. In Malaysia. From Malaysia, I meant to say. <laughs> Hello. Oh, neat. Look at this. Oh, wow. Nice. Yeah. How many plants are in here? Uh, 16. 15, 15 wow. plus one. Uh, 16. Oh, 16. 16. 16. Oh, okay, okay. I'm sorry. 16 plants. Still. Still a lot. <laughs> yeah. One six. Wow. And Amazing. this plant is this one here. Yeah. Very nice. Look at this. Wow, look at that. What's the name of it? Um, this one? Let me see. Wow. Interesting, huh? Yeah, look at that. Why? Wow. What brand is it? Um, Wilson. Oh, okay. I guess uh, someone makes it for them. It's stainless cool. steel. Nice. Very good. It has a wide mouth. Nice spring here. What do you mean? <laughs> it's nice, you know? Yeah. It's a nice sheer. Nice presentation, right? Yes. Yes. They are Wilson orchids from Taiwan. Uh, 
and the Taiwan Orange Ruby. And someone has a YouTube channel, yeah. I guess. <laughs> What's your channel's name? Chichin. Oh, ours is Vicky's Likes. <laughs> Good to meet you. Same Bye. here. Bye. Thank you. Very nice. Uh, Beautiful. Somebody pick up Vicky? Did you? No. 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 But, um, but if it doesn't show up, she's Vicky. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is very pretty. Yep. <laughs> Lava burst. Nice stuff. Yeah. Very nice. Look at the big piano. Mm -hmm. We have it. Yes, we do have <laughs> it. Okay. This is the beauty we saw at Mounds, right? Isn't it? Um, not I, not Mounds, um, uh, Gainesville. Remember? Um, I think so. Oh, yeah, yeah, I think so. That's beautiful. It is. Yeah, I think it is. It might be, yes. And lastly, we have Natalia from Just One More Orchid with her beautiful products. I saw that she had these posted. Yeah. They're so cute. Very nice. Hi ho, hi ho. Yes. <laughs> this is my favorite piece. Yes. She's making oh, these gnomes. Yeah. This is really cute also. A little gnome coming out of the house. Oh, you're very welcome. fun part. They are for breaths. I have the plan that the This is beautiful. I'm not sure. Have we seen it? I think we have. Um, I think in the display, I think. Venice? Maybe, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> now, I'll tell you something about Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. We've been going around today, Orchids in Bloom, Pearl Smith, and... We still have to go to the Mount Dora Plant Festival yes. this weekend also. It's so big events this weekend here. Yep, yep. So, uh, I hope you liked it. This yes. is always a wonderful place. Don't forget to check our videos. Yes. Don't forget to check the video of the yearly event that they added the 4th of July weekend. Yeah. So, yeah, with that being said, uh, thank you all. And keep watching Vicky's Likes. We'll never let you down. And We've got a lot of stuff coming up. We met so many people today, yes. uh, our viewers. It's always so nice, like we always say. Yeah. So the next video is Mount Dora, so stay tuned. Bye.